A question that comes up a lot in recovery from infidelity, and Rick addresses it at the EMS weekend pretty strategically, uh, I'm asked it quite often, is how do you restore honor to the relationship? Uh, most importantly, how do you restore honor to the betrayed spouse? Now, it's funny, uh, the honor can be restored the shame can be remediated for the unfaithful spouse simply by the unfaithful spouse getting back up, pursuing life again, you know, the whole Rocky mentality, it's me against the world, I failed, but I'm going to get back up uh, and really do better, be better, see better, uh, think better. There's just a redemptiveness to the unfaithful getting back up. That's kind of easy to understand. But what about the betrayed spouse? How does the betrayed spouse find a restored, renewed, and redeemed honor because of what they've been through? And it's a, it's a real difficult gap to try and bridge. But let me tell you a story one day that kind of will tee it up. So uh, years ago, I think it was about a year and a half or so into recovery, uh, I got really sick and uh, I was at home and really fe feeling horrible and I knew I probably should go to the hospital but I at least knew that I needed to go to urgent care. Now Samantha will tell you she's a wonderful nurse to the kids. To me it hasn't really gone well. Uh, and there's so many stories I want to tell you right now but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to stay with this one. So I was laying in bed. I mean every form of sickness you could imagine. And I literally was just, I was starting to get afraid. And she just was still dealing with a lot of anger and a lot of issues. It was just a bad month. And so I, I was waiting for her to drive me to the ER. And she just wouldn't yet. Um, and it was just, everything had compounded. And as a Christian, you can relate to this. If you're not a Christian, you can relate but yet laugh at this with me is that I remember I was so sick I got up I grabbed the blanket I got into my car and I peeled out of the driveway ripped through my residential street and I was so discouraged and so convinced that you know what I just are we gonna make it I reached out I grabbed this white t-shirt and I just waved it I was like I quit here's the white flag I can't win, I can't make money, my marriage won't heal, nothing is going right, I can't forget it. And I just gave up, so much so that I walked into the ER and I gave him my information and I got this blanket, true story, and I curled up on the floor, the disgusting floor of the ER and I just shook. I just laid there on the floor waiting for them to call me. So Amanda walks through the door and she goes, what are you doing? And I said, go away. You don't care. You don't love me. You hate me. I'm a miserable failure. The people in the ER are marveling at the scene. And I'm just shaking, going, go away. I know you hate me. You want me to die. It's like a fiasco. Then literally the nurse walks up. She goes, uh, Samuel, um, I said, I'm ready. And I looked at Samantha, I said, no, you don't get to come in. <laughs> and I went in. Turns out, I was rushed to the hospital, had an emergency appendectomy, uh, and to this day I can laugh about it. But in this moment, uh, we had this knockdown, drag out fight, and I was saying all these things, and Samantha said something to me. She said, you don't understand something. You're so caught up in how this has affected you that you can't see the dishonor and the shame that I feel. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she says, my husband has gone to be with someone else for two years. You had this affair. Anybody that hears that story thinks of me as a conniving, bitter, you know, cantankerous, 
disapproving wife, that I was such a failure in bed, I was such a failure to you emotionally, that you went to go be with someone else. And so I'm humiliated, but you can only think about the costs that you have experienced because of your, your failure, but yet you're getting back up and you're, you're working hard, but yet you continue to focus on your embarrassment, but what about me? Let me give you a few thoughts. Number one, it is incredibly admirable and honorable for the betrayed spouse to give recovery and redemption a shot. To this day, and many of you relate to this, I read emails to Samantha. And I share with her your comments, negative too. <laughs> but I share with her the enormous appreciation that so many of you have for Samantha and how you desperately want her to film. And I'm trying to get her to do it, it's hard. But she's a rock star. Like everywhere we go, if we tell our story, People, it's funny, I'll be at churches or, or speaking engagements and I'll share our story and people will come up and they'll kind of look at me, but they'll go right to her and go, how did you do it? I can't believe you made it. How, how did this happen that you found it in your heart to forgive him of such atrocity? She's a rock star. She has such incredible honor established to her because she gave restoration a chance, number one. Number two, the best way as an unfaithful spouse to help restore honor to your betrayed spouse is to work your butt off in recovery, to work hard. That's why you, a lot of you unfaithful don't get it, dude. You just don't get it. As you come to a weekend intensive or you read books or you do courses or you go to 12-step programs or you work hard, you're restoring honor to your betrayed spouse because she is seeing or he is seeing you really labor to get healthy, to get restored personally, to get right, to learn why you did what you did, which then produces empathy and humility, which then produces honor in your life and mind and heart towards your betrayed spouse, which restores their honor to themselves, which restores honor to the fact that they have been willing to forgive. There's nothing more honorable than forgiving than giving a complete failure like me a second chance. We've laughed and we've cried today. Honor is available for you, the unfaithful, but honor is available for you, the betrayed. It is possible. It will take work and it will take a strategy.